Good morning. Hello. Hello. Thanks for popping in the channel. So today, I know this is kind of backtracking, but this is actually checkout day for our stay at the Welsh Hills Inn, and it is the number one B&B in, in America. Mm. And when I say number one, I mean it was literally named the number one B&B by TripAdvisor. So congratulations to them. For I, sure. A huge thank you to them for hosting us over the weekend for your birthday weekend. For my birthday. Birthday! Birthday boy sitting right here. Wow. So anyway, we're going to show you kind of a backwards take on our stay. Sure. So this is checkout morning. We still have breakfast and things to eat before we leave, but we wanted to do the intro now so that we can do the outro at the end. Does that make sense? Ask Wrigley. Ask Wrigley. And she's the star of our show. She's been the star of our stay for sure, hasn't she? Oh yeah. Wrigley. No, she doesn't want anything. Not interested. Either. No. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to show you the breakfast in the morning. We're going to show you what there is to do, the pool, the hot tub. That was your best friend. And, and who won a bocce? Who won a bocce? We won't talk about that. But anyway, again, thank you for popping in and thank you to the Welsh Hills Inn for having us. Are you ready to show everybody around? Let's have a blast. Let's go. Hello. Okay, so we are officially in. We've just been showed our room. It's actually downstairs. So where it says private. You see down there? That's where we're heading. So meet at the bottom of the steps. The name of our room, which is downstairs. So we'll spin the camera around just to show you. There is a set of steps here. So take that into consideration. They're very easy, very easy to walk. Oh, sorry, I digress. Anyway, the name of our suite is the Bryn Mawr Suite. So walking in the door, the first thing that you're gonna see is this beautiful bookcase. So let's go to the left because I'm a sucker for a good bathroom. And this is a really good bathroom. So as you can see, toiletries, soap, disposable towelettes for makeup, water glasses, a, what is that called? A mirror, but it's a makeup mirror, so it's, um, Oh my gosh, what is the word? Anyway, regular mirror, um, magnifying, magnifying, got it, magnifying mirror. And then there's the toilet, another bookshelf, and then we have a stand-up beautiful tiled and um, silver shower. Okay, heading out of the bathroom. Hello, birthday boy. <laughs> is the sleeping area. There's actually a sitting area. This looks like it was maybe a bar or something and they turned it into a table. I love it so much, but there is um, oh, pretty flowers. There are two chairs to sit and then a shelf with a bunch of cool knickknacks. This place is very eclectic. And then we have a queen bed. Look how beautiful that is. On the side, we have a fireplace right there and a rocking chair, and a getting ready stand-up mirror. And then this is our kind of like small living area. When I say small, it's big, but it's the small living area. And then we have a giant TV. There is Dish Network here. So a ton of movies on demand, we were told, and channels and music. They actually put the spa channel on for us. So what else can I show you? take a look at some of the art pieces. Many of them are originals, some are prints, but they do a beautiful meld of the two. I forgot to mention that when you arrive, they generally have a carafe of ice water for you and some artisan chocolate from a local chocolatier. Let's take a look at that in case you want more. <laughs> yeah, this is just so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you around the rest of the house. Okay, Mr. Locke has taken temperature check because we don't know how warm it is or how cool it is is it nice it's too cool for me it might be all right for you really yeah. anything below bath water is too cool for me. i know so here's a quick peek at the pool again lounge chairs inside there is the pool house right that's what they called it so inside is just a place to relax hang out nobody's in here i'll show you Crazy. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's one that needs to come Plus, they have towels in here, so you don't need to bring your towels down here. Did you see this? Watch a university. Nice. Yeah. 
So here's what it looks like. There's oh, there's where the table tennis balls are and the darts and things are in here. No. I want you to introduce the next dog. Sorry, it's loud. Darts. Darts. Mm -hmm. Table tennis and the paddles. I'm gonna walk out. And here is too hot in the hot tub. Gonna get in the hot tub. It's gonna make me sweat. Gonna make me sweat. Wanna test the water for here? Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, that's about Okay, good. Okay, and here's another peek at the pool from this angle. And there's the front porch. Oh, the lights are all on and it looks so beautiful. I know there's some music here, so I'm gonna try and talk over it. But in this area right here, there's the table tennis um, table. There is, there's a dartboard and then of course like a scoreboard. But if I just swing the camera here the, around the pool area, this is bocce. And the bocce ball court. So we're not sure how to play. <laughs> Were we right at all originally? Oh. Okay. How do you play? Uh, you throw the paino and then you throw the balls at it. And whoever gets closest gets a point? That's what I'm trying to get. Okay, well, it is your birthday. So you're going to go first. Essentially, you throw this little white ball called the paino. I think that's what it's called. All right, and then these are the bocce balls, and you get four of them. And then you throw a bocce ball, right? Right, and it has to go at least past mid-court, but not to the backboard. Okay, and then after you throw one, then I get to throw. Well, we throw the white one, and then I throw that, and then you throw that, and whoever's farthest back keeps going until either they are closer or they've run out of balls. Okay. All right, here you go. At least halfway down. No, that's pretty good, actually. That's very good. Can you see it? Okay. And now you have to throw one. One. There we go. He's got this. Look at that competitive spirit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's not bad. It could bounce off the back. Okay. Whoever's farther, whoever's farther away after this throw goes next. Okay. But my goal is to get as close to that white ball as I can. That is the goal. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because I'm like an ace player. I mean, I've yeah. played one time before, so I figure I'm like an expert at this. Probably pro by now. <laughs> That's not too bad. Let me just... So who goes first next? <laughs> Who goes first next? Ringer. Now it's my turn until I get one closer or I run out of balls. Okay. Here we go. You can do it. Oh, that looks really good, actually. Not good enough, though. Not good enough. Ball number three? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Nope. There's a distinct curvature happening. Here. Yeah. All right, Levy, last ball. Here's a big chance. Now here's the thing. Well, wait, I have a question. So if you don't get closest, I only get to throw one time? No, you get to throw all the rest and see how many points you can score. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Here we go. Zooming in. Nope, that's a big no. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. I don't know. No, I feel like I'm closer. All right, how many points can I don't know if there's any rule regarding that, but I would say in that end. Ringer. Ah, right, one more. How many do I have close? Like, what is this? Looks like one, but I can't tell. Okay. That one's closer than that one. Is this mine? Yeah. So you get one point. I get one point. 
All right, I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Winning. Two rounds. That has taken a turn. So I have one. I'm gonna be green, okay? I have one, and you have three. Ha! For now. Okay, you get to go first this time. Okay. Here we go. That was the final round. You moved my ball. I kicked it forward initially. I just put it back. Anyway, what was the score? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, what was that face? You played a 12. I won by like 17. You did? Yeah. Okay. You, what, got, you got negative points. What was the score? 12 to And who got 12? Okay, but because it's your birthday, does it automatically flip? Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. sweet. Okay, so you won. Yay. Why? Oh, shoot. Thank you. Wasp on the ground. All right. What are we doing next? I don't know. Okay. All right, it's about 6.25, and between 6 and 7 every night, they have charcuterie and some wine for wine and cheese. Okay, I got a Riesling because I like sweet wine. Mr. Luck, what did you get a cab? That's what I believe. Happy birthday, my love. Cheers, thank you. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mm. So what do you want to do? Go sit and rock on the porch like an old man or I play? I have a chunk of that cheese and maybe one of those. Are meats? you? Okay. All right. And then Ooh, after that, you said you wanted to play bocce, right? Yes. All right. Well, let's go play some bocce after you're done. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Luck made a friend. So there are two doggies here on property. This is Ellie. And then I'll try and show you Wrigley. Oh, there's Wrigley. She was giving you birthday slobbers, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is little Miss Wrigley. Look how beautiful you are, baby. Hi. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi, Peanut. <laughs> I just got the cold shoulder from my doggy. Hi. Yes, you're beautiful. Just giving you a quick pan of the front porch. The lights, the twinkle lights. And then this, if I spin the camera around slowly enough, it's the other side and it overlooks some of the 15 acres that they have here. Sorry for the grass cutting noise, but it is a beautiful day and I have to take advantage of that sun. This is so pretty. I could seriously sit on this porch and watch this all day. It's very calming. How's the water? It's not bad. No. Uh, but then it's okay? Yeah. Let me see. Here we go. Foot in. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Good morning, birthday boy. Good morning. So this is our first morning here. What did you think of the room? How did you sleep? I slept well. The bed was very, very comfy. It was nice. It was. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it, it was nice to be able to adjust the lighting just the way we want it and um, yeah. have a fan in the room and have just the right amount of white noise to keep us from uh, getting ear ringy, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, the fan was super nice because I sleep with the fan. So look. At... Hey guys, are you seeing this beautiful morning we're having? <laughs> that was a little Barry quote. If you don't know Barry on HBO, you really need to watch it. It's my new favorite show. But look how gorgeous it is here in the morning. Try to Avoid the sun for you right there. Ah. And there's the hot tub again. So we're gonna take a dip in the pool. Are you ready, baby? Actually, the water is warm now that my feet are in it. Okay. It's breakfast time. So we have pancakes and bacon, and an orange juice and some coffee. Oh my, look how good this looks. And look at the beautiful plating. Gorgeous flower. That's great. I'm ready to dig in, are you? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy breakfast. Okay, birthday boy, where are we heading? Let's go out in the woods and walk around. Yeah, there's several hiking trails here. We're going to take a peek at one, and then we're going to end up by the hammocks, because I really want to try them out. And we're going to find a bunny. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're going to take the hiking trail that's actually right on the other side of the bocce ball court, right? That sounds good to me. All right. Oh. 
a kitty. Okay, pause the hiking until I pet this kitty. So here is the designated hiking trail that we're gonna go on. Go ahead, you lead the way. That way if you trip, I know I won't. <laughs> So I do want to mention that the Welsh Hills Inn does offer um, tick spray right at the main door entrance. Um, and we are encouraged to use it because, you know, in the woods and in Ohio, there are ticks. And I really enjoy that fact that they do ha have that and provide it for us. All right, on with the hike. Animal number two in the woods. Oh, look how cute he is. Little chipmunk. What do you call him in your neck of the woods? I know what we call them. What do you, I'm sorry? What do you call them in your neck of the woods, baby? Uh, I don't. But? They've been called grinnies. And? Chipmunks. And? Ground squirrels. I like your mustache. It's very Dali. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys call them uh, in the comment section below, because I just call them chipmunks. <laughs> That's a cranky crow. So that was about, what, a 10-minute hike? That was cute. Super cute, super easy, and now we're going to end up at the bottom of the yard, if I'm correct. I mean, there were different paths to take, but I wanted the shortest and sweetest one to get down here to the bottom bit to show you the hammocks. Before I get to the hammocks, here's a quick peek at what the B&B looks like from this angle. It's beautiful, isn't it? They keep the lights on all the time. I found another animal. The elusive Mr. Locke in his natural habitat. Okay, so there are two hammocks here and a swing. Does that swing have a drink holder? Yeah. <laughs> That's rad. Um, to the left, right there is another hammock. And then I believe there is one closer to the woods right behind you, right? Right back there. I don't think you can see it with the sun shining, but it's right there. Wow, it Want does. With me? Well, I wanted to show how cool this was, so I'm going to swing around the other direction. Look how adorable. That's little Miss Ellie. Ellie is one of two doggies here, two manor pets, right? <laughs> they essentially run it. They're adorable. So Ellie and Wrigley. And Wrigley is just precious. They're both so well-mannered and so adorable. But yeah, drink holders. I'm going to get in one of these. Hmm, I don't know. I've seen too many videos where people just get in it and it just flips over. Mm, <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get inside a hammock like this. How do you do it? <laughs> I'm really bad at that. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's awesome. Is that comfy? Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> that was great. Thank you for showing me how to do that properly. Yeah, I told you. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good, honey. That was pretty good. You almost flipped completely over. <laughs> oh, no. I only flipped most of the way over. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. No, it's fine. That's good. It's a coordinated <laughs> effort, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh. That took some effort. I'm not even going to lie. And I still, oh, I still feel like we can just, any, any moment, we're just going to tip right over. Nah, that's good. <laughs> no, that was really fun. <laughs> Thanks for taking one for the team and showing me how. <laughs> Perfect technique. Oh, yeah. Flawlessly executed oh, technique. Perfectly excellent. <laughs> oh, God, you're doing it again. <laughs> You are an emotional cutter. <laughs> I did it. Is that how we're supposed to lie on it? You could. <laughs> Is that the easier way? Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, go ahead, get up. Um. I feel like you are one of your many talents to put on your resume. <laughs> it's good you're only five inches off the ground. Oh, no kidding. All right, next stop, the pond. And they actually do have 
fishing poles that you can borrow and they have bait. And we were discussing this and this is, this is me and my weirdness, but I'm like, I would like to go fishing, but one, I don't want to hurt the bait. And two, I wouldn't know how to take the fish off the hook because it's catch and release. <laughs> so I guess we'd just be sitting there pretending to fish. We could pretend. Just put the hook in the water and obey, right? Uh, well, fishes will eat that too. Oh. Oh, another swing. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look, they have a canoe. I feel like that would be a hammock situation for me. Oh, wow. This is really cool, this sign. So they have all kinds of different fish. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, red, what, red ear bluegill, bluegill sunfish, black crappie, channel catfish, yellow perch, grass carp, turtles, and bullfrogs. How cool. Plus a super awesome place to sit and listen to the what? Random fountain. I called it. Aww. Yeah, you missed out. The water's really clear. What, do I, what am I missing? Right in the shadow, there's fishes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I, I see them. Open. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Fishes. Can you see them? Mm. They can fish them. Oh yeah. Can you see them? That's adorable. And there he is, the birthday boy. Checking in, it's Saturday night. It is Saturday you had a great day here. Mm. What did you do? I got up, I hot tubbed, I tried to get in the pool and it was too cold. And then we had a nice lunch. And then I went disc golfing and then I went to a brewery and got some dinner and now I'm back and I'm having a glass of wine. But you forgot the best part. What's the best part? You beat me at bocce at this round. You did. I think you're just setting me up. No, no, you actually did. So right now it's just a little after seven. And in case I didn't mention it, from six to seven, they have wine and cheese hour for the guests, right? So you've got a nice cab. I've got some Riesling. We're gonna sit out here on the porch and look at the gorgeous views and see if we can find any animals, enjoy our wine. Oh, I saw turtles today to add to our animal index for our trip. No, you didn't, where? Just a little turtle in the woods. Did you pick him up? No, he was, he was tucked away comfortably. Did you talk to it? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, we'll check in with you soon. We found her. This is Miss Ellie and Miss Wrigley. Aren't they adorable? Look at those sweet babies. Yeah, they're definitely the hostesses. <laughs> yeah. No scratch. Oh. She's so tired this morning. It's hard to be that tired. All right, check out morning breakfast. I got an egg white omelet with spinach and cheese and some beautiful sausage, some toast, and a tomato salad. And Mr. Luck, who doesn't eat tomatoes, got a traditional omelet with all the fixings, right? Mm -hmm. And a berry salad and an English muffin. Look how beautiful. All right, guys, and that will do it for our full review of the Welsh Hills Inn. I apologize for the sweatiness. It's pretty hot out here this morning. <laughs> <sighs> I got skunked at bocce. Always so graceful. Yeah, I, I got skunked at bocce, but you got skunked by the hammocks. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure to pause that and watch it in slow-mo because he is like a pro hammock. What would you call it? Entrance pro <laughs> hammock sitter? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> Thinking about that's going to make me laugh all day. I'm never going to get tired of seeing you in that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you watched through the end of this video, thank you. If you like us, please consider subscribing to our channel because we love having new subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below if you've ever been to the Welsh Hills Inn or are considering a stay because it's so worth it. It's worth every penny. The hosts, Bobby and Jeff, absolutely amazing. The actual hosts are even 
very, very gracious and kind and sweet. And we had some visits from Miss Wrigley. Mm -hmm. And uh, anything you want to add, baby? Well, make, make sure you hone your bocce skills. <sighs> hone your bocce skills. You're ready to build a bocce court in the backyard now, aren't you? Uh, you know. You kind of want to. He's already looking into it. So I'm just saying. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you plan your stay. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Look at that. That's friendship right there. Oh. Oh my gosh. It doesn't get any sweeter than this. What a way to start the morning. Thank you, girls.